Good morning, my name is Paweł Mazurek and I would like to present the topic influence of the position of the steel wire rope in relation to the earth magnetic field on the diagnostics with the use of MFAM technology. At the beginning you can see a review of currently known magnetic sensors. Please pay attention to their sensitivity range in relation to the earth magnetic field. Uh, the optically pumped magnetometer belongs to the group of the highest sensitivity sensors. Microelectromechanical systems have allowed to develop the magnetic field sensors with potential applications such as non-destructive testing. My presentation shows one of the first applications of MFAM sensors for diagnostics of steel wire rods. Optically fabricated magnetometers rely on the measurement of light transmitted through a sample of atoms. Its interaction with the magnetic field modifies their optical properties. The details of both the atom field interactions of the light atom can vary significantly between active and magnetometer types. For magnetometers using alkali atoms, all methods rely on incident resonant light driving an optical pumping process in the atomic sample to create polarization of the particles in the magnetic sublevels of the hyperfine growth states. The resulting atomic polarization moment then couples to the magnetic field to be measured. Hence, the ensemble polarization's temporal evolution in the magnetic field is driven away from the incident light's value. It thus modifies the light absorption, transmission or polarization properties of the sample in a dynamic way. Detection of the field-induced perturbation of the transmitted light then yields information of the field itself. Experimental procedure. Two series of measurements of a 500 mm long rope with a measuring range of a 2000 mm were made. The first series is for a new rope, for a rope in the delivery state, with you can, which you can see in the figure 6. The second series is for a rope with discontinuity. The rope with a discontinuity is a rope on which two equal cuts were made according to Figure 7. The defectograms for the rope with caused damage in the name at the beginning are marked with D. MFIM geometrics consists of two independent sensors, M1 and M2, so the graphs assume individual descriptions adequate to the tested direction and sensor number. Examined object. It is um, coated steel wire rope. Generally, the uh, geometric composition of this kind of ropes is chosen so that the turning torque of the steel core and the strands cancel each other in a wide load range. It avoids in this way um, the kinking of the ropes. Uh, this cable construction is robust and widely used in the industrial field, mainly in lifting applications. Measurement conditions. 
for measurement of the magnetic field was used the MFAM magnetometer sensor produced by Geometrics USA. The magnetic sensor was placed on a stand enabling rotation in all directions. Then the level of two sensors concerning two perpendicular directions was checked. The room in which the test was carried out was separated from ferromagnetic steel elements that could influence the measurement disturbance. The instrument was then positioned relative to the compass so that the apparent line connecting the two sensors was parallel to the magnetic north, south and s direction. In the first part of the experiment, a completely new steel wire rope in a delivery state was tested. The measurement length was assumed to be 200 millimeters. Each measurement was performed with a reciprocating movement in the presented range with a constant velocity of approach 3 mm per second. The sensor did not change its position. It was permanently attached, only the rope position changed. The first orientation of the test sample was parallel to the apparent line formed by the compass in the east-west EW direction, figure 10a. Every case of measurement was repeated five times and the average result from five measurements was taken for analysis. After the EW measurement was done, the sensors were rotated 90 degrees so that the apparent line connecting the sensors were parallel to the north, south and s direction. Feature 10b. In the next step, the sensors were deflected 45 degrees, still keeping the plane calibrated at the start of the study intact. The clear line connecting the sensors ran in the direction between the NS and EW direction in such an arrangement like on figure 10C. This position was marked as EW45. The results of the obtained measurements are shown in figure from 11 to 17. Figure 11 shows all the results obtained for the rope in delivery state for the two senses in all their positions. In the figure 12, an absolute value of the difference between the senses M1 and M2 is shown. There is an average magnetic induction difference of 2000 nanoteslas. This difference changes over the entire measuring range and depending on the adopted position. Figure 13 shows all the results obtained uh, for the rope with made discontinuities for the two senses, a magnetic induction difference of 2000 nanoteslas between the values for sensors M1 and M2 in all cases. Uh, the graph showing the absolute value of the difference between the sensors M1 and M2 is shown in figure 14. Figures 15, 16 and 17 show the measurement lists of two sensors 
M1 and M2 on the rope without damage and with damage for all positions. The conducted measurements proved the, that the direction of the earth magnetic field on the tested object using an optically pumped magnetometer is significant. Some important conclusions from the analysis of the charts um, are presented here. First, the values in each performed measurement decrease in each of the graphs, which means a lower value of the magnetic induction. For the rope without damage for two directions, NS and EW45, the defectograms remain at a similar level of the magnetic induction value. For the EW direction, the displayed values are lower by a specific constant value. The measurement difference between the M1 and M2 sensors decreases for the EW45 and NS positions. It can even be assumed that it is stabilizing. For the EW position, the difference initially decreases and then increases. This change is more dynamic in the first section than in the end range of the measure, measured range. For the rope with discontinuities for all directions, EW, EW45 and NS, the defectograms remain at a similar level of the magnetic induction value. The measurement difference between the M1 and M2 sensors decreases for all positions initially, decreases and then increases. The change is comparable for the beginning at and at the end. For the NS position 2, disturbance, disturbances in the chart are visible in the vicinity of mm, 50 millimeters and 115 millimeters, which may be evidence of rope damages. The magnetic mm, induction values for each of the sensors M1 and M2 are higher for the rope without damage than the rope with damages for positions EW45 and NS. For the EW position, the rope values without damage and with the damages are comparable. For the EW position for both the M1 and M2 sensors, the difference in the value of the magnetic induction increases for the case with and without damage. For positions EW45 and NS, the results from both sensors M1 and M2 are higher for the rope without damage concerning the rope damage. The differences between these values remain constant. Summarizing the presented conclusions from the analysis of the graphs, it should be emphasized that the influence of the Earth magnetic field orientation plays a vital role in passive magnetic diagnostics. It requires further research, the subsequent investigation will concern the determination of correlation coefficients allowing to determine individual damages. Thank you for your attention.